Are you seeing this error on your website? In this video, I'll show you the five best ways to fix the critical error. Number one, check if it's your theme or plugin. First, change your active theme to a default one and reload the site. If the site works, then the theme's at fault. You'll need to get a new one or load back to a previous version of a theme. If the error is still present, it's time to check your plugins. Disable all the plugins from your dashboard by navigating to the plugins page. Click on the select all box and pick deactivate all from the option above it. Now enable each plugin one by one while checking your page after each to determine which one was causing the error. Number two, restore the site from a backup. Depending on whatever plugin you're using, simply access an earlier backup file and restore the site. If you're in the market for a backup plugin, there's none better than a very old blog one. It's trusted by over 400,000 sites. Now, the next three methods involve digging into your PHP code and also working with it. So make sure that you're well versed with it or at least know a buddy who can help you out. Number three, check error log. Now, the location of this file is different depending on whatever host you use, but the file will be named error underscore log. There are four PHP errors, warning, notice, parse, and fatal. If you see parse or fatal errors, you'll need to fix them. So get that programmer buddy of yours. Number four, debug your site. Debugging your site will generate error logs that will show you which piece of code is faltering and where. To enable it, click on the public HTML folder and choose wpconfig.php. Add the following code inside the file. Then click the save and close button. Debugging is now enabled on your site and all the errors will be added in that log. You can find this in the WP content folder with the name debug.log. You can then just share these logs with your programmer buddy and your site should be fine. Upgrade PHP version. Check the PHP version of your web host and make sure it's at or above 7.4. The versions supported are 7.3 to 8. If your PHP is below the supported ones, upgrade immediately. But a PHP upgrade is a big deal. So make sure you have a backup ready before trying. Comment below if you get stuck anywhere and I'll do my best to help you out.